These two gentlemen, they need no introduction. We are joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Alonzo Mourning. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here on NBA Today. Thank you. I'm glad you came on because we start touching each other and start having fun. But get off no, you get off <laughs> Well, let's just get it started then because I'm afraid this is already going to go off the rails. You, you guys are here together because you're doing something very special in Miami. Shaq, can you tell us what that is? Well, Alonzo is doing something very special. Uh, Alonzo Morning Family Foundation. He's been doing stuff here since he first arrived here in 1945. I started off with an 18,000 square foot facility. Now it's expanded to 56,000 square foot. I'll let him tell you more about that. But I see how it now has been, has, has been doing this initiative called Comeback Courts. And Alonzo has so graciously let me build him a court inside his facility. This is one of the best facilities I've seen in my life. It's not even done. They got football fields, they got mental health and awareness centers, you know, they got tutoring, they got charter schools. So. Uh, I know you're interviewing me, me and Alonzo, but I'm not going to sit here and take all the credit. It's like I will not take the credit for 2006 championship. I can go around bragging saying I got four championships. It's because of this man. So I don't want to hijack this Thank man. Thank you, brother. Today. This is Alonzo day, and I'm just, you know, being a teammate. Well, Thank since you. this is Alonzo's day, Alonzo, you have extensive experience serving the communities in Miami. How is this specifically going to impact kids in this area? Well. First of all, you know, I want to thank Shaq, you know, for his time today and then also through his partnership with Icy Hot, which has allowed us uh, through these comeback court initiatives, which has allowed us to adopt another supporter in our initiative here in, in South Florida through the Morning Family Foundation and all the work we're doing here at OYC. You know, we know at-risk kids go home to at-risk situations, you know, so we want to provide services uh, to children and families in depth um, mental health and awareness arts programs you know and understanding that these kids come from communities and same communities that we come from we're fortunate enough to be here talking to you today because of the contributions of others you know and i'm, I'm very thankful and grateful for partnerships corporate partnerships like icy hot their bounce back initiative to help us sustain the work that we're doing to help us build this 20 million dollar project you know to provide support to the children and families here in south florida it's pretty clear that the, the partnership that you two have, it's incredibly special, but it wasn't always that way, right? right? You, you were in the same draft class in 1992. You went one and two yeah. respectively. Yeah. It, it connected you forever, pinned you against one another. Then in 2005, Absolutely. you became teammates in Miami. I, Shaq, you spoke about yeah. this earlier this year, but now that Alonzo's sitting right next to you, I'm interested to hear, how did you make amends with your rival turned teammate? Well, I had to come out and say I was a hypocrite about this man. Because the first time we laid eyes on each other was uh, he growled to me, I growled to him. <laughs> and our first six, seven years, that's how it was like that. So then when, you know, he, he went away with, with his ailment, I reached out to him because if there's no Alonzo, there's no me. In order to be the best, you have to be the best. And we brought the best out of, 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 of each other. Then in 2005, 2006, Pat said, hey, Alonzo wants to come back home. And me playing chess, my checkers, like, okay, oh, Alonzo trying to come back? I'm not trying to go up against him. Sure, come back home. It was a great decision. He helped me win in 2006. But this is the nicest, sweetest, most respectful, well-respected young man that I've met. Thank and you, brother. Similar to myself. On the court, he's like, he's, he's I'm going to punch you in your face. Flavor two get thrown out. I don't care. I'm gonna do it every time. He's like that, but off the court, I mean, he's just he's 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 very special. So when when he called and said, "Hey, uh, I want to team up with you," I'm gonna always say yes. Is, again, he's been doing this since day one. Is, we is that your recollection of it? Pretty much. Uh, that ex pretty up, much explains it. Yeah, man, get off the phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much explains it. Listen, we it was at a time where I was trying to come back, especially after my kidney transplant, and by the way, December the 19th, I was post-transplant, and I was fortunate enough to have an opportunity to come back and play with a contender. And uh, Shaq gave Pat his blessings to bring me back, and we realized that we were both hypocrites. You know, I could say the same about him, you know, that, you know, he was a nice, one of the nicest guys that I ever met, and I got a chance to know him, and then we ended up complimenting one another on the court, pushing each other. There was days in practice he would tell me to slow down, and I said, oh, no. Yeah, a million miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. 
Hey, I said, look, I'm trying, I'm trying to get a chip. You got, I said, you, turn, you got three already. I'm trying to get me one, big fella. Shoot so, around. So, yeah, so we're for, it, it was times, it was times during the season where things looked bleak and we had our moment together and um, Shaq carried us out through the playoffs, you know, and I contributed here and there and game six, my opportunity came around, you know, and I tried to show out and close it out. For, for Miami's first championship. You so, see that, Charles? Yeah. He did. <laughs> Charles Barkley. <laughs> Well, I mean, watching you two right now, it, it reminds me a little bit of when I sit with Kendrick Perkins and Richard Jefferson in studio. <laughs> Richard's actually here. I want to bring him into the conversation. Rich, what do you got for these gentlemen? Well, one, I, I see that Zoe is, is still smiling a little bit when I show up. Shaq, Shaq, I just, just stand there. But my question to you guys is, all of the stuff that you guys have learned over these past, like, 50, 60 years of playing against each other, how... What is the message that you, that you would give to this generation of players about together we are better, together we are stronger, and to grow and to do things together? Well, I don't pay attention to Richard, so I don't know. <laughs> the but no, uh, off the court, together is better. But on the court, I urge the guys to continue to compete. Because mm -hmm. this, this thing of ours, this thing that you, know, you were part of help creating, is very plentiful right now. So I urge the guys to just go out and play hard, and you know, take take into account that the, the moms and the dads that pay all that money to watch yeah. you perform. Give them a great show. And now, no no more load management. Yes. Yeah, no more go out there and play. Go play. I, and I think go out there and play. The greats, the greats that paved the way, they play basketball. And I think, Richard, part of your yeah. question is, you know, I need to explain this to the youngsters. Just because mm. we criticize you don't mean we're not together, Richard. Amen. Yeah. If yeah. you listen to the information, I'm giving you the answers to the test. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.